Hello and welcome to the FreedCamp Overview for Student Clubs, a system designed to help you manage your organization and hit your goals. FreedCamp can be used to organize events, stay on top of fundraising, manage responsibilities within your club, and every other aspect of collaboration across your team. Today we'll cover how to properly structure FreedCamp for your needs, a getting started workflow analysis, some important features like file storage and templates, and the FreedCamp interface. Let's start by getting an overview of the structure FreedCamp follows. First, we have the account owner. He's responsible for managing the entire system and getting everyone on board. Projects are organized by project groups. Groups are used to create categories. For example, if your club organizes a lot of events, all the projects can live inside of a group called events. Or you could use an eboard group to house projects related to the eboard. Groups are an important concept because they allow the account owner to designate a group administrator who is the only type of user who can actually create new projects and invite members into the system. Projects are where you actually get things done, mainly revolving around tasks. They can be customized with a number of different applications like discussions, milestones, time tracking, and more. Now let's walk through the general process of getting started with FreedCamp. First, the leader of the club, likely the president, creates an account with FreedCamp. He starts things off with a project group like events, where he adds the first project called Meet the Alumni 2017. Adam invites Jennifer, the head of events, into the new project and gives her the group administrator permission. Now Jennifer adds another project called Fundraiser Gala 2017 and invites a number of volunteers she's working with. Once things are going, Adam continues to create groups and necessary adjustments for the user permissions. Here's the result of Adam's setting up a FreedCamp. He creates three project groups like events, eboard, and volunteers. He made Jennifer a group administrator. As a group administrator, she can now create projects, invite people, install uninstall applications, and automatically be included in all projects inside the events group. The events group has two projects, Meet the Alumni and Fundraiser Gala. Jennifer will invite people as needed to the club. These members can have limited access to certain applications, ability to only de delete their own tasks, and can be added quickly to any other project. The best way to see how FreedCamp works in action is to walk through Jennifer's workflow of using the system. First, Jennifer visits FreedCamp and is greeted with the dashboard. Here she can access her project and navigate to any application within those projects. When we first visit the tasks application, it will be rather empty. So the first thing to do is create some task lists. We're hosting a project for an event. So a good starting point will be to create a task list for before the event, during the event, and after the event. Ah, much better. It is absolutely essential that your club meets to plan projects together. If physical meetings are out of the question, using Skype or even a new discussion post in FreedCamp could be a good alternative. Jennifer plans a meeting with Adam and a couple of the volunteers. One topic was about the location of the event and where it should be hosted. This resulted in a task assigned to Jennifer with an appropriate due date. By doing these meetings, you will have a strong plan for the execution of the project and prevent unexpected last minute items from popping up. After the meeting, the project was now live and up to speed. People knew what they had to do to make the event a success. Due dates are important as they will remind the person the task is assigned to seven days, three days, and one day before the due date. Use subtasks to split larger tasks into smaller chunks that can be assigned to other team members. You should never underestimate planning and creating well-organized projects. Statistically, if you invest more time planning and less time running around just doing things, at the end of a project, you would have spent a lot less time making up for mistakes and last minute changes. A solid task list will give a clear picture to all your club members of what needs to be done and by whom. A strong overall plan is guaranteed to achieve better results. Your own private assistant reminding you about what you need to do and when and it will benefit future club members who can look back on your last project and utilize your resources. 
Here's some interesting statistics to keep in mind. 70% of all projects were not completed on time over the past year. 97% of organizations believe that project management is critical to performance and organizational success. 80% of successful projects use a project management system. 57% of projects failed due to the breakdown in communications. 39% of projects failed due to lack of planning, resources, and activities. The task application in FreedCamp has a lot of different features. On the top right of each application is a cogwheel with settings. For example, to switch the task application from list mode to Kanban view, you can click here. The Kanban view is like a board of stickies clearly indicating progress with the middle column. One item on the agenda was figuring out the theme for the dinner. And since this isn't necessarily a task, Jennifer adds a discussion and notifies the members she's interested in getting some feedback from. You can add people to any item by using the at symbol and then typing in their name or selecting them in the notifications dropdown. Now let's review files in FreedCamp. They can be added from almost anywhere, a new task, a comment, or a discussion. You can locate all files related to a project in the files application. By selecting a file, you'll see more detailed information like all the versions uploaded and comments. You can add a new version from your computer, Dropbox, SkyDrive, and Google Drive. Comments are a great way to leave notes about some brochure design or Word document draft. Project templates allow you to copy an existing project over. To create a new project from a template, you can navigate to the Manage Projects link under the User dropdown. In the Manage Projects page, under New Project is a From Template link. A good candidate for a project template is an event the club runs every year and is very similar in nature. You choose which applications to transfer over. You can adjust all the due dates in relation to the event scheduled date. So if last year you had to order the caterers five days before November 10th, and the new event this year is on the November 20th, it will automatically adjust the date to November 15th, which is five days before the event. In case the club members have changed, you can easily remove all previous members from the project. Now let's review FreedCamp's interface. On the very top of the page, there is a project switcher. It allows you to go between projects and applications quickly from any page. Each project card has a cog icon, allowing you to manage the projects and do things like invite more people, change the name of the project, complete or archive it, manage teams and applications, and delete the project. Next to the project switcher is a number of useful boards. The default one is the project board, where you can view and manage your projects from one place. Next, we have the task board, which allows you to see all your tasks in one place from all your projects. Widgets are a great way to create little pieces of information from all the different applications in your system. The calendar board allows you to see items from all applications that have a due date in a calendar view. On the top right are all items related to your account. Quickly add an item to any project and application. Bookmark pages for later viewing and see your notifications like new comments or tasks assigned to you. Under the user menu, you can manage your account, manage your projects, see all of FreedCamp's add-ons and get help using the system. This concludes our presentation.